Hey guys, what's going on? BMG here, war number 9 of season 38. This is probably my best war of the season so far, as we're, you know, where we stand throughout the first 9 wars, I feel like this is the best I've played, and I had some really funky fights, and I wanted to show them off, so I made a little montage in the beginning showing how they all end, but yeah. Um, going up path 4 in section 1, we start with Galen here, which this is the first time I've seen Galen placed here. The idea here behind him being placed here is for him to take advantage of the fury buff he gains from the nodes that will fuel his planetary mass, but I don't know if this is the greatest place for Galen because he's a lot stronger and more threatening on other nodes, in my opinion at least. Um, I think the reason he's here is just mainly due to how the defense is set up. They tried it it looks like they tried to have um paths with two defenders require two different attackers to take them for most uh lanes so he was kind of here to split the options for the path i'm not going to use some supreme for both fights on this path i have to use another champ for the next fight so i think that's why he's here but i feel like you can accomplish the same thing with someone who's not gallon and use gallon on a stronger node later down the road but yeah, the only reason I'm saying that is because there's so many options that can take Gallon there, whereas there's nodes that limit his options later down in the map, and he's also <laughs> already a tough defender to deal with based on him being a, a conduit defender, as well as having Neutralize be the only hard counter to him, and then there's soft counters to counter him otherwise, but don't want to harp on it too much. I just wanted to point out that Gallon was a unique placement there, to say the least, because I, I normally see him on like Shared Nodes or Boss Island, so it was cool to see him on a p actual path instead of, um, you know, an actual like Boss Island fight or like uh, the early Node 20s, uh, I think Node 21 through 26, so yeah, while I was rambling on, we murdered that long shot, so... <laughs> Uh, no need to really talk about him. It's a super straightforward fight. Next up, we have Wong here. I was originally assigned Overseer here, but if you activate Cosmic Mode with Overseer against Wong here, every time you gain Gamma Power against Wong, or every time you gain Gamma Power in general with Overseer, while in Cosmic Mode you gain Fury Buff, and against Wong you don't want that to happen because... When you gain a buff against Wong, I think when he's in one of his uh, spells or has one of his spells active, he will go unstoppable. So, Overseer could have worked if I decided to never activate Cosmic Mode, but then the fight would be a lot longer. And then I just didn't know if I felt super safe doing it, so we made a little alteration to the plan, got Human Torch in there, and then we swapped out my third option, who was going to be Idun. For human torch and then had someone quake something else later down the road so that fight was pretty straightforward with torch flame on torch is always super easy um next up we have hercules on the new node 24 there's power snack uh what's it called it's, uh it's the power it's the power sting node these power scenes do like no damage to you when you activate a special attack with them active um it's like something twice shy or something. I don't know what the note is off the top of my head. And then there's something about prowess making the opponent unblockable if they have a certain amount of prowess effects. This fight is, again, super straightforward here. Overseer can make uh, Hercules' immortality fail. So you will see that happen here. We wanted to get one more special one out of Hercules here, and we do. That way we get that nice retaliation burst and we just do a little combo into special two. And this should get us to the point where we can finish him off while we have the disorient up. The disorient is 12 seconds long, so you have a decent window. And the special one here kills Hercules and he doesn't go immortal. So pretty cool, super straightforward fight. Uh, next up we have Ebony Maw on path four in section two. So this is the uh, steady build up unblockable path. So this fight, again, it's pretty straightforward. You just want to play Ebony Maw the standard way you would play against him using Overseer, which is punishing his special ones with heavies. Right there, I messed up the spacing, which to be quite frank, is pretty rare from me against Ebony Maw. This is something I used to practice a ton before joining for Loki. 
Uh, this is back when uh, Ebony Maw was a high ground defender, I think. So yeah, that was one of the things I wanted to practice because I wanted to use Overseer for high ground defenders. But um, yeah, now we just are block baiting, trying to get an opening and we pretty much got one now and the fight's pretty much over with. Um, super straightforward fight there. I, uh, I really like using Overseer for Ebony Maw. Uh, next up we have I-Bomb on the second node of path four in section two. Um, same nodes other than crumbling armor and i think there's another one uh, on the previous node where if i um wait no it's not it's this one if, if he activates a special I'm armor armor broken i think um no it's the other one that was the armor breaking if he activates a special attack um but yeah now i bomb is fully unblockable so like who cares <laughs> it's really not that big of a deal um, this is one of the few paths on their defense that we were able to use the same option for both fights. It's the reason why I was able to go through this whole lane um, pretty easily. Um, so one thing I want to show you guys, if you guys have been watching my war videos and I talked about baiting specials versus like certain AI, um, see how I'm dexing and he's like being really weird about um, throwing specials. And then I ended up hitting his block and then he threw it. Um, there's just certain ways you space yourself from the opponent to get them to throw their specials. Um, so yeah, uh, one more light attack would have finished that fight, but I just want to be safe just in case I didn't kill him. I didn't want to eat a special, uh, an unblockable special too. So yeah, that's just uh, one thing I wanted to point out is like, if you guys notice when I'm fighting against characters and they're like unblockable, um, I might stop doing my combo and stand still for like a tenth of a second trying to bait the special attack and that's probably the best way to get them to think that they can land the special attack so they end up throwing it. But um, next up node 39 we have Vision Arcus and this is a pretty straightforward Sim Supreme fight. I did not know if this fight would be as straightforward as it ended up being. When we assigned it we were like, will this be easy? Will it not? I don't know. Um, we took Nova on Node 37, a previous war with Sim Supreme, so it went fine and I figured Arcus would be fine as well, but we got an intercept in before the special three here, and now it's pretty much game over for Arcus. So uh, we get to our special two, we do the little dash back in the special two, and then right here we just throw the special two regardless of what he's going to do. The special two effects trigger through the block I believe, so. Um, we would have been dealing tons of damage. So, yeah. Um, if any of you guys are curious who I was supposed to take before uh, Torch was added to my team, it was that Bishop with I Doom, but we just quaked it instead. Um, but yeah, next up we have Surfer on Node 49. Normally, I take Cersei here because she's commonly placed here. Um, the, the strategy with her is to bait a heavy attack, so she triggers her glancing, and then you do a 5 hit combo, which will trigger 5 regeneration buffs on her, and with 5 out of 5 missed dispersion, that will cause uh, your power to go straight to your special 3. But with this one, you have to play a little bit different, you have to use different boosts. I use the power start 1 here, and we got to the special 3 pretty decently quick, but now we just have to try to get to our special 2. We get to it, so now we just... Uh, start looping those and the fight's pretty much over with so i'm really proud of how i did this war like i was really happy with uh the results um some fights i mean they don't look janky going back and watching them through because they just they went well it's just like going through the assignments and everything at first we were like will this actually work will it not who knows but those are my favorite kinds of wars where you could just experiment and the experiments go well. So uh, that's it for me, guys. I had eight fights this war. Eight fights went down smoothly. And uh, yeah, I hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, consider hitting that like button. Consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. Um, you know, if you are subscribed, you know I love you. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you guys for the next video or stream. Uh, Vegas Battleground tournaments are back, so I'll be doing that. So, peace out, guys.